familia, Fred, mi chulo de bolsa. Y llegas a la niña. Y luego aquí te rito. Okay, guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select a part for... Guys! Shh. Guys! We're going to select a part for Millie, right? So you previously selected a part which probably inside one of these bits and pieces. So it might be inside here or something like that. Yeah, which is not really a milling part. This is a milling part here. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to open that part. I'm going to file, save a copy of it. Okay, I'm going to save it as a IGIS file, yeah? yeah? I'm going to save just the solids. Yeah? Okay? I'm going to have a look in Pro Tool Maker. I'm going to have a new part because this is no good. Okay, so I'm going to open. That I just found, yeah? That's the one that I want you to machine. Yeah. Yeah? Because the part that part that you offer isn't really a suitable machining part. Yeah? So that might, that's a suitable machining part, that one's a suitable machining part, that is, that is, that is, that is, that part is, that part is, that part is, yeah? But that ball isn't a suitable milling part. Okay? <laughs> I mean, so the first thing you want to do here is get it in the right uh, location. So, so you select the triangle to surfaces, edit, transform, rotate, rotate about the x axis by 90 degrees. Okay. Yeah. So there it is. Yeah. Don't need to see that one. Okay, so then I, uh, I set the, the middle of that into the middle of here by finding out where the boundary box is. So that the triangulated, the triangulated surfaces. Calculate what the bounding box is. Minus 95. <coughs> Minus 95. 126. And 4. Yeah. Cancel, uh, edit, uh, transform, translate. So I'm going to translate in the X, 95. Yeah, I'm going to translate it in the Y, yeah, this way. So plus 126. Yeah. And I'm going to translate it in the Z, minus N. Yeah. Shall I go through it again? <coughs> transform, translate. I transform it in Y plus 152. <coughs> Why is that right? 152? 252. Should be transforming that 
in the, or in the negative y direction. So it's been a long day. Okay? Let's get it right. Uh, geometry bending is bending box. Yeah? So synthesis is that. Let's do this right. M for maximize, I for isometric, <coughs> services, edit, transform, rotate, back the x-axis, OK. Select them again, geometry. Sorry, bounding, bounding, bounding box. Minus 95, 126 and 4. Minus 95, plus 126 and plus 4. Okay. Select them. Uh, edit. Transfer. Translate. Yeah, so I'm going to translate it 95 in X. Yeah. Minus 126 <coughs> in Y. And minus 8 in Z. Yeah. Okay, so now it's in the middle at the top, yeah? Which is where I wanted it. I don't need to see those. Yeah? yeah. If I select the transform triangular data surface, I go boundary, create a uh, silhouette boundary. It'll silhouette all those up into the X, the X uh, Y plane. Yeah? yeah? I can open those up, and can you see that um, I can actually look at these boundaries now, and I can highlight them? Yeah? So that's made that outside one. Yeah, go blue, can you see it's gone blue, it's difficult to see against the background. Yeah? So there you go, it goes blue. That's the one I want, I want to offset. Yeah, so I'll be offset that 20 millimeters. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I don't want to see that one. So I've now got my my boundary and my part. I can do select my silhouette boundary, my offset boundary and my transform, transform triangular surfaces, mm -hmm. and I can do machining, area clearance patterns. 20 millimeters tool, let's say it's a 15 millimeter tool. And let's say it's got a 1.5 millimeter corner radius. Yeah, it'll create the area clearance tool patterns. I can link those together. When I link them together, They'll all join together into a single toolpath. The single toolpath I can then animate. Yeah, if I want to. I can create, from that single toolpath, I can create a stop model. Yeah, so that's my stop model. Yeah, so you can see that that's what I've actually machined. You can see that I've actually machined on the surface because the grey of the part underneath is coming through. Yeah? Let's just do like that. I can then take those area clearance toolpaths and I can uh, post process them. Yeah? Okay, so I'm post processing for a Haas machine. Files. Yeah. So I can view that tape file. Yeah, you'll be able to see, you know, <coughs> this is G71, G01, blah 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 blah. Mm. Yeah, should be familiar with you. 
you can create a tool sheet from that. This wasn't working this morning. Something about the web browser that's stopping that working. Okay, so you can see that I can pretty quickly get to a stage where I've got a toolpath that I can, you know, I can. Okay. Um, I very quickly produce a, a, a toolpath. The problem is that in creating that toolpath, we haven't thought about how we might machine it. So, for example, number one. How do you hold it down? Yeah, so how do you hold that part in place on the machine? You've got your machine, this is your bed of your machine with your T slots in. Some material that you're going to clamp onto that surface. How are you going to hold it in place? Hold the outside to the inside, and then I'm going to machine the outside. Right. Yeah? So you start off, you